Hello YouTube and welcome to Gramforks. Today we have another battle where we have three Bellonas um, by, captained by myself, Paranoia, one guy we picked up, turns out to be a very nice player, and Munya, which is of course my cousin Davor. Now, I mean, and we will be facing against Victory. Now, um, normally, I mean, w clearly, some of you will say that we are, yes, a little bit overpowered, but the goal was that the three of us pick up a fleet order and actually fight the fleet order. But for some order, but for some case, we have missed the mission and we ended up with another order that was just a regular order for the rear admiral, which was very, very close. So we mixed up two battle indicators. So here we at the beginning discussing, shall we leave, shall we go? But then again, we figured, well, you know, we have three Bellonas against one victory. I'm pretty sure we can give it some spanking and basically just get the hell on our merry way. So, yeah, we were discussing with Paranoia, who was actually... Uh, um, was one guy that uh, that we had joined and he said like well no let's kill him so it looks like we will be taking our balonas against a victory very nice shot here and getting ready so the plan was to probably either sandwich him or just form a battle line and then just be kicking him one after the other. Bologna is a nice ship, it's uh, after all a third rate and actually the one of the more potent third rates, but then again victory is not to be underestimated, it's, it is after all a first rate ship with a 100 guns total. So. It can still dish out a pretty hefty punch if you're not very careful, so we have to be careful at what we're doing. As you can see, the weather isn't very best, but we have medium wind and rain going to the, let's say, east. I'm hoping at least that's east, because we are only have the heading... Oh no, it's not towards the east, it's toward west, yeah. <clears throat> and actually this is the first time since the sea trials that I will be fighting a Vic, so I don't know what to expect because they have pumped up the armor and everything else, so I'll try to see if I can give it a decent beating. Ah, it's a beautiful ship, I mean, I really like Victory. I do like Bologna even more, but then again, fire! Twenty-seven to the hull and six to the crew. Overall, I'm pretty happy. And then again, hard to port. I'm trying to pay attention where the rest of my teammates are. We have Munya and we have Paranoia, so we will be just mm, passing each other and then turning and getting back in the fight with the with the victory. Now, I'm just saying to Paranoia that he can go into the middle, and here I made one eeny weeny mistake, which is basically turning into the wind with a Bologna. Well, given the recent pet changes and everything, I mean, you can turn, but it gets a bit slow ish. So, I was trying to get another shot, which was again a mistake, because that slowed me down significantly, because my sails weren't turned properly. If I had just turned, that would have been okay. Oh, what can you do? Now I'm a little bit stuck, almost like in irons, which is definitely not a position that you want to be in in a sailing ship, but... Yeah, I still have some speed, so I will manage to get out of it, but... 
Oh, and we're going in the reverse. Beautiful. Okay, turning the sails and 0 0.1. Yeah. Not the best move. I can tell you that. And I also saw that Paranoia had um, he had a fur Bologna, which was actually designed more for boarding action, so that it's a faster ship. But <clears throat> uh, I've seen that he has taken like, a little bit of a beating from a victory, so I suggest that if he needs to repair, that he can come behind us. And we have Laust Svensson going in a victory. So, yeah. Paranoia lost half of the hit points on his starboard side, but then again, nothing too catastrophic. And clearly, yeah, so now, then I was suggesting let's form a battle line, and Munya was, was supposed to be in the lead, then me, and then Paranoia. So basically, that we form like a line astern. Which, for you that might not be familiar with the terms, means that we will be following each other. So, the one thing that I find historically inaccurate, or not historically inaccurate, but kind of funny, is that when we are fighting disengagements, that we are fighting against pirates. And I mean... The idea, sheer idea of pirates having a Vic, well, I don't know whether to laugh at it or think about it, it's completely like, because I mean, a Vic is after all a ship that has what, probably around 800-ish or more crew, let's see if I can see, 838 crew, so I'd really like to see Pirates master that amount of manpower. Yeah. Okay. As far as I've read in the books, pirates have never sailed anything larger than a frigate or maybe maybe a third rate, but at best, but still that would be even a too big of a deal for them, I guess. So, yeah. I don't know exactly where I read it, but I think I remember reading like something that the biggest pirate ships were like frigates or something like that. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people here who are fans of naval action who will be able to correct me on this statement, so and please by all means do. Okay, turning hard to port, following the line after Munya, and he is holding his sails. What, double, what the hell are you doing? You're going into the wind or what? Mm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell was he thinking. But I guess I wanted to go for a regular port side shot. So I have cleared the distance and now I'm lining myself up for the shot. Hard to port, and I'm hoping I don't hit Davor. I'm just judging the range to be ready to fire and fire. Fire. Some of them falling too short, but still 21 to the hull. And now I see, realize that I'm very close to Davor, so I will put hard to starboard and I will try to uh, go for a rake. And I'll try to go for a stern rake for the victory. I mean, after all, she has a pretty large behind that will be well served by my total of 37 cannons per side. So. And fire. Oh, yes. Oh yes, 
24 to the hull, 4 to the cannons and 18 to the crew. Beautiful. This was a nice hefty shot. Now turning a little bit harder to port. My guns aren't reloaded but I'm kind of thinking that Ooh. I mean, when you see a victory fire, it's always a terrifying sight, I can tell you that much. Nine, but these are small caliber cannons, but still might do at least some damage, so let's try and fire. Ah, uh, it's bouncing off its hull, of course it is. One to the hull, fire! Hmm. Maybe I'll go for a bow rake shot. So 50 and fire. 7 to the hull, 1 module, 20 to the hull, 1 module and crew 5 and we have hit its pump which is awesome. That basically leaves it incapable of pumping out water which is definitely helping a lot in terms of sending him to the Davy Jones and we have Paranoia lining up for a shot as well as Munya so I don't know if any of them fired recently I haven't seen exactly but I'm just informing here Paranoia that I'm going to starboard This will be from longer range, which means my smallest caliber cannons won't be effective, but let's see. Aiming shot. Okay, and fire. Twenty-eight to the hull, one to the crew. I'm overall pretty happy with that score. We are wearing it down, definitely. It has thick armor, I'll give it that, but then again, we are once again... I'm hoping that I will be able to turn harder and then basically hit him from the side that he is just firing from. Come on, and he's turning towards me. Oh, come on, I'm faster, please. Come on, turn you, damn it. Oh, boy. Come on! Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Okay, getting ready to fire and... Fire! Well, looking it on the plus side, at least I'll get four shots from point blank range. On the bad side is that he actually bumped me. I have paranoia going just after me. Getting ready for another broadside. Okay, now I'm basically concerned because I saw Parna coming up for me. I mean, he is a good player and he is actually following the uh, the battle line very well. I'm just keep making a crappy job for him because I'm constantly turning willy-nilly. So, yeah. Now let's see. Another broadside. Yep, fire! Oh, the smoke. A nice screenshot, sorry if it stuttered a little bit. Yeah, I know Paranoia, it's very hard to be in line, I'm sorry about that. Well, since we have already worn him down now, it's no longer mandatory to be in line in the first place. But then again, 
Having the benefits of all of us firing him at him is definitely a plus. Okay, my cannons are still reloading and I'm hoping that they reload a bit more. I'm trying to go for a bow rake if my guns reload, which they will not. Fire! Oh well, fire! Fire! Whew, well... That was really not the best... My proudest moment, I'll tell you that much. You see guys, when going like this you really need patience. You have to have a good shot and you have to press your advantage because if you don't, your opponent will. And by pressing the advantage I meant going a little bit slower, making sure that my guns cannons are reloaded before I actually fire from point blank range. Yeah. That was definitely supposed to be the idea, but what can you do? And now, uh, well, I don't have a good shot anyway, so let's just... Yeah, Monia, I know he's going down. <clears throat> we should just endeavor to help him on that... Um, in that effort, because if he's trying to go down, we should create a little bit more holes, a few more holes, just to make sure that he does go down. Okay... Hitting north. And then north by west. I think I'll keep the north by west direction because I want to hit his sails. And fire. Due to the sails. Well, not much, but still not negligible either. And I think I'll go parallel to him just to make sure to have a nice, decent shot. We will be hitting his stronger side. But then again, raging shot, good, fire. Twenty-four <coughs> to the hull, one to the sails, one to the cannon, and two to the crew. Nice. Now I have reduced my sails and I'm once again going for the stern rake. Just notifying my teammates. Getting ready to line up a shot. And... And fire! Awesome! 22. Also cannons. And actually... He was set on fire by, I believe this was Paranoia. Nice job, mate. So, completely destroyed its hit points and also made some holes and also... and also set him on fire. Well, it doesn't get worse than that for him. So, yeah. Well, gentlemen, I think... This will bring our fight to a, a close pretty soon. So let me know if you like this episode and like if you like and subscribe for more naval action content. We have a couple of interesting things coming up, but probably at the time of posting this battle you will have seen some. And I mean about the guide for manual sailing. So. Once again, oh, and I've hit its rudder, 
its pump is out and that spells the end of this particular victory I would say oh well anyway let us just and the battle is over so that's it for this episode ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this is Groundforks signing off <laughs>